So when you see the Dallas skyline after sunsets, it's alive with all those types of colors. And one man is responsible for those colorful messages on one of the most prominent landmarks in Dallas. His name is Pat Anderson, the accountant from Little Elm, who is leaving his mark on residents and guests alike, and that makes him one of our ones to know. Here's Jennifer Lindgren. Like many great works of art, it's not the size or the shape that make the Dallas skyline memorable. I'm from here. I, I lived here all my life. I, I love the city of Dallas. But the big picture revealed to those who step back and observe from a distance. I hope the people appreciate it and, and the, the beauty of it. Pat Anderson is the artist. The Omni Hotel, his canvas. The splashes of color applied with a computer program he runs from a laptop. We're a bright, colorful people, and, and we're happy Texans. It was a happy accident that landed Pat at the controls. As the senior project accountant for the hotel developer, Pat crunched the numbers on the construction site. When the Omni opened in 2011, city leaders needed someone reliable to manage the system of 3,300 LED lights. Did you feel a lot of pressure? when you knew your work was going to be on the skyline yes. of downtown Dallas? Yes, I was very nervous. Holidays, game days, and Monday mornings. Pat says his job is simple. If I can do something that makes people chuckle, I mean, that's great. Make people smile. I've been waiting ever since for this temporary position to be over with. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you want it to be over with. No, I, I really enjoy doing it. It's really grown on me. The lights always shine bright in good times. I can stare at it for hours. And in darkness, too. I thought, you know, this has got to, this is enough. And enough is enough. When the world is hurting, these buildings become platforms. Sometimes I'm, I'm able to project a message like the flags when there's a tragedy. It all started with the Boston Marathon bombing. I projected the, the waving U.S. flag. From over 1,500 miles away, Dallas showed its support. Then the attacks came in Paris, in Brussels. Dallas police demanding that the streets of Dallas be cleared now. They are... And this July, just four blocks to the north. The one Dallas after the, the, the Dallas police officers ambush. It's just a sign of love for, for those people, letting them know that we... we we know what's happened and we feel for you and we're here for you. It's a powerful thing to project emotion into the sky and bring people together on the ground. A lot of people don't realize it's just me. There's not a whole crew of people that, that do this. It's just me. In Dallas, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News. Jennifer, thank you so much. And so great to put a face to yes. what we all see and what we all think about. You know, who is the person or people behind it? And to and know just it's one. just one person, exactly. You can see the Dallas Cowboys star logo right there as we show you these live pictures of the Omni Hotel. Yeah, lighten up. Look at this. Lighten up our Thursday night. Thank you, Omni. And thanks to that accountant from Little Elm.